Hey everyone and welcome back to Ragecraft episode 17. Last time we left off we had walled ourselves off inside this little bitty room. There's a creeper spawner right here. I've since dropped off a bunch of items into this hole because we don't need them. They're all junk. We also found a couple of emeralds last episode as well as a pair of diamond boots. Plus a whole bunch of good stuff like we were using this pick which was unbreaking one efficiency one. But we've now got a efficiency two unbreaking three pick which is obviously better. So... We need to get out of this hole, and I don't think we want to go that way. I'm pretty sure we came in from this direction, and I'm pretty... Yeah, yeah, check me out. Oh, shoot. Oh, snap. Nope. Oh, nope. Come on. Go away. I don't want you. We're not friends. I don't want to attend your birthday party. Oh, he's right there. Good God, man. Okay, we're doing better now. We're doing much better. I saw this chest as we were exiting. Let's go ahead and grab it. Golden legs. Some... Okay, nothing actually that... Oh my goodness. Do you see what's on the other side? Nope. I just looked over and I saw all of those zombies. Look at that. That is ridiculous. We are... We are... Oh my goodness, man. What? How do... I mean, obviously this is what we have to do. But like... How were we ever expected? Let me just get rid of the gunpowder real quick. We don't we don't need that. How were we expected to fight that off? Uh-oh. This is probably death. This is probably death. Um Oh my goodness. Got it. We pulled it off. <laughs> we made it out alive. I have no idea how we just did that. But it's good. We're good. We're safe. Uh, I think I need to let my health come back. And then maybe we make a break for it. Good plan. Health is now full, which is a good thing. But there are so many monsters, man. There are just an insane amount, right? And most of them are stuck down there in that pool. So I've started to dig out to the left here. And I'm using the old not as good pickaxe to do this because you know why waste a good one on something that's not time sensitive so i'm just trying to get away from that like that i don't know that chest it wasn't a trap per se like it wasn't explicitly bad but oh my gosh it was it was a death trap it was really scary so i think i have an option here uh I could jump down, that's the way we came in. I could probably get out through there. Um, as long as I don't end up in that pool, I think I'll be okay. So here we go. Oh, I caught a vine. We can just continue to book it. All right. Um, still good, still good. And we're home free. Okay, so we made it out of the scary dungeon. I'm gonna make it back to the base now. Uh, that wasn't even that bad. We only took half a heart. I obviously need some new gear. Everything's about to break. So I'm gonna go drop all this good, good stuff off, and uh, I guess we'll make another pass here soon. Made it safely back to base, but there's something that I want to do while I'm here, and I think this will be crazy, crazy cool. So we have these diamond boots, right? And it's like, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And it's like, so I've already gone through most of these, po or not potions, but these enchanted books. And it's like, we've got a protection one, protection one, and unbreaking one. And they gave us an anvil, so hopefully we can get a couple of uses out of it. No! Dang it! That was the end of the anvil. Uh, there was more someplace. I don't remember what that place was. I don't know. Maybe you guys will leave me a comment or something on where it was. Maybe we'll find some anvils. Ah, oh, I'm so disappointed. Um, okay, so anyway, I need a little bit more food. Let's go ahead and get just a hair more baked potatoes. I also went through and organized this stuff even more. And then this is our super secret chest. So this is where like all the legendary or crazy items we've gotten. So actually we can just look at this real quick because it's kind of cool. Ferocious blade, sharpness five, knockback one and breaking three, but it is a gold sword. So it's kind of like, it's only going to be useful for a little bit. Punisher, pretty weak. Um, burning splinter uh 
pretty weak again. Holy Water, it's in here because it's an infinite durability item, which is really, really cool. Uh, the Divine Boots, Protection 4 and Breaking 1, that's obviously really good. The Executioner, which we found last episode, we risked our life to get this. It was ridiculous. It's pretty good. Um, we've got the Haunted Baton, which is also like the Holy Water Smite 4 Knockback 2 compared to the Smite 2 Knockback 1 Fire aspect. And then, of course, we've got the Diamond Boots that we found at the end of last episode as well. So that's the cool items. I'm going to get back in there and make another pass. And we're back making another run. I guess before we get through here, we could come in and we can boop these spawners and go ahead and take a look at what we've got inside here. Arrows, bread, okay, new helmet. Ah, I forgot to get gear. Dang it, dang it. Okay, we're just gonna have to hope that there is gear very, very soon. Ah, yes, there is. Antidote, chicken, something shooting at me. It's all right, I'll take them out. What's up? Oh, come on. Yeah, what's up? There you go. And we actually needed legs, perfect. But then our chest broke. <laughs> this is just, we're falling apart, man. I feel like I'm like a robot. And it's just like, as I fix one thing, just another thing breaks. Oh, there was, I think there was some movie even like that. I don't remember what it was though. Oh my gosh, so much stuff. Okay, jump attack, jump attack. Get the sparkles. Yeah, sparkle attack. What's up? Don't even know. Don't even know about my day job. And, oh my gosh, I keep missing. Like, this is going well, but it, it could be going better, I'll admit. Okay. There's that. Oh my gosh, man. And then there's, like, stuff up there. I don't know how we're supposed to get through this. This is one heck of a choke point, man. Oh my goodness. I don't know how that hit him. I, like, clipped him in his knee. I used to be an adventurer like you. And then... No! No! So many people are getting so angry at me right now. Just why would I even bring that up? Okay, uh, I don't need that. Let's just run. That's pretty scary. Okay, we'll just go this way. Get in there. Get that dropped. Oh, did you see me weave around that skeleton like a boss? Sometimes I'm pretty good at this. Oh, that's a witch. That's really bad. Uh, did I block? Let go of block a little bit too soon? I think I might have. Okay, so we've got some time here. Uh, witch is number one priority. S skeletons are number two. Okay, there we go. Oh man, everything is so weak. Yes. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Like... I mean, it could have been a lot worse, is what I'm saying. Mmm. Scared me. Yep. Yep. I can't believe this is working. I just weaved through so much stuff. Oh my god. Maybe it, I need to just quit YouTube. I need to quit my day job. I need to quit everything. And I just need to weave baskets because apparently I'm like a professional weaver right now. That was so perfect. That was that could not have been executed better. I don't think if I needed to do that again, I don't think I could. Like I was I did take a couple of shots, so maybe in a perfect world it could have been better, but like as far as like real uh nope. As far as like legit real world application is concerned, that was flawless. That was absolutely flawless. Oh dang it, I didn't want to look at you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. If I die to a single Enderman, I'm gonna be so angry. This place is not safe. This place is not safe. One Enderman almost took me out. I have no boots now. Okay, we've got boots. We just need chest. We have no leather, though. Okay, looks like I will be waiting out for safety. Yes. Maybe. We can, we can just actually set this up as like a home barricade sort of thing. Yeah. I mean, that, that pretty much works, right? 
I wish there was a way. I wish I had shears. I would take that vine and I'd hang the vine right there so monsters couldn't see through it. And then I would just be totally safe. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and wait this out. Get our get all of our health back and then make another pass. Yeah, okay, there's nothing in there. Just check it. Just check it. Health is back up and we're gonna make another pass here. Uh I'm pretty sure we're getting much, much closer to the wool. Um Consider, ow, my face. Come on, dude, that's not very nice. Um, considering, ooh, divine pants. Didn't we find divine boots not too long ago? I'm pretty sure we did. Um, what is, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and guess that there's a secret down here. No, no secret. All right. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I took, I saw an opportunity and I took it and Turns out I was wrong. It happens. I'm human just like everybody else. I make mistakes. I'm sorry uh, Okay, so one of these has got to be booby-trapped, right? No, okay That was the blade of illumination smite fire aspect six attack versus our 7.25 Nah, Come on oh, Goodness, okay, I guess I guess we try to get back up in here. It makes sense to me. Ow. See, and spiders are, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, like, that's pretty terrifying that that's behind us. I have no choice but to run forward now. Okay, just in case. Oh, gosh. Those trigger-like reflexes, man. Nothing above us. That's what I'm concerned about now, is like something gonna drop down. No, we looking good so far. Obviously those are spawners. We understand how this works. Um, go ahead and drop that one. Not a trap chest, potion of strength, splash potion swiftness. Hay, we don't need it. We can just grow wheat and turn it into hay if we absolutely. Oop, hello. Okay, that was just more important. All right, that's pretty bad. Um, what to do about that? We'll just... Tarzan, we'll just climb across this thing. That's pretty good. We get our health back. Um, hmm. Did you even see that spawner there? I didn't see that spawner there. How did nobody... Why did nobody tell me that there was a spawner right there? Oh, come on guys. I'm so disappointed in you. Why didn't you? Why didn't you? Eh? Ring around the rosy? What's up? We don't want that guy to explode because he is... Oh my gosh, man. We're in like some labyrinth or something like that. Oh my goodness. I just ran out of torches. This is really bad. Uh, okay, that's light. We've got to go down. We've got to get out. Uh, dang, man. Um, maybe I do have more torches, but they're just in my inventory, and that was not a safe spot to pull my inventory up at. Check it. Yes, I do have torches. Okay. Well, let me recover real quick, and we'll make another pass. Okay, I actually have a pretty neat idea. Instead of trying to fight our way up those stairs again, so we came through this room. Ow. We came through this room, and we kind of figured out that there is stuff over here. Like, there's that upper ramp. Like, I don't think I would have noticed it on my own normally, but, like, now that I'm here... Oh, Emerald! Great job, team. Great job. Now that I'm here, you know, I'm able to look up and be like, oh, look at that, there is a path. Like, maybe we should take the path and do something special with the path. Like, I don't know, buy it a birthday present. <laughs> I don't know where this tangent's leading. Apparently, I'm going to be, I'm going to end up dating the path, like, forever alone. Um, oh, hello. That was kind of terrifying. Um, okay, well... <laughs> Let's see, I think I could just climb up this, right? No. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna destroy that. And we're actually just, instead of using a whole series of blocks in order, ow! Where did you even come from? 
instead of using a whole series of blocks to get up there, I think I'm just gonna use the vine that already exists because I'm clever. What's up? Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, uh, this is really bad. This is really bad. I need to get out of here. Oh my gosh, man. Well, it's just me and you, Creeper Spawner. Just me and you in here. Need health. And we're at full health. I already made a hole. We should be able to escape through this hole. And, oh dang, if I was a little bit quicker on the uptake, I might have been able to blast the Creeper off the edge. But you know what? I'm bad at the game. Oh, come on, man. There we go. Okay, so they're just pouring out of this. All right, not the greatest of moves. You know how we were talking earlier about being a great basket weaver? We're not a great basket weaver <laughs> anymore. That was pretty miserable. Each pass, man, we have to take a break after just because this health is getting ridiculous. Like, there's so many monsters here for just one person to handle alone. If I had, uh, not that I'm implying anything, but if I had a buddy or a teammate, it would be distracting some of the monsters, so that way it would be, oh my gosh, that just scared the heck out of me. I was like, okay, I need to turn around and check my back, and then I do, and it was right there. <sighs> okay, waiting out health again. And we're going back in. All right. So we just need to get up here. I'm pretty sure we're hot on the trail, man. Like, it's only getting more and more difficult. I'm getting more and more things lit up. And we're finding, like, more and more difficult places with more and more tight corners to go through. Okay, so we've got arrows, a golden pickaxe. What do I not need? What do I not need? Quick, 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 quick. Um, okay, fine. We don't need these stone bricks. Cobblestone's better. Torches are better. Um, we don't really need the leather. Uh, and the golden pickaxe is good. Do we have something we can drop for the leather? Yeah, we do. Okay. All right. Well, uh, let's let's hope we find something. Oh, what is this room now? The heck! Ah, I can't get out. I can't see. Oh, there's splash poti potions of harming falling from the ceiling, so we can't go over there. That's just great. So not only are we weaving around monsters now, but we're having to weave around potions of falling death. Okay, this is just peachy. So let's get up into the ceiling, because I can't progress. Not, not with these two things going right next to each other like this. This is... Oh God, can I even get forward one more? Okay, that's good. Um, what about on this side? Can I just like get up into the ceiling? That would be awesome. And then I'll just climb over there and take it out. Yes, yes, no lava, no nothing like that. Okay, I see it, we're good. Oh, come on, don't hit me. Don't do that. Ow, my face. Okay, it's always my face, man. I just feel like, oh goodness. Okay, now we have to jump down. I thought about destroying this. Oh my goodness, if I could get out. But it actually serves as like an AI barrier. Like monsters can't see that there's an opening here, so this keeps us safe. So I think navigating this potion room of death is going to be, I think this is the end of the episode. I can't really push forward. We don't have the time. Um, yeah, so I guess right now I'll say thank you so much for watching this episode of Basket Weaving Labyrinth. -ness. I want to say thank you to all the people that like the video, that share the video, that subscribe, thanks to the video. And if you are a supporter of mine on Patreon, I just can't express enough love for you. It means everything. It means the world to me. Anyway, again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. This has been Nims Plays Ragecraft, not Minecraft. This is very specifically Ragecraft. It's rage inducing. Not really, but it is. Maybe a little. I don't know. Tangents are a thing. Thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you later.